Hello guys and welcome back to Starbase, this is Commando Doggo. So today well, I'm doing another design video because uh, unfortunately I just didn't make it in time for the uh, Rumble event. So I, I did want to try these turrets in public but uh, I didn't have a ship ready in time so because um, pretty much the last few weeks I've just been doing the YOLO and converting the T8 turret into rangefinders because it was previously designated uh, for my previous video. Um, but yeah, they use uh, a ton of cables. Um, it's gone way more cables than I originally anticipated, so it's really difficult to put these on a ship without reaching the cable limit. Uh, and so it took a very long time for me to try and get a ship together in time. And unfortunately, I just couldn't make it in time for the event. Uh, but hopefully, if there is one next time, uh, I will be able to test these out in public. So these turrets aren't quite finished yet. Uh, there's a couple of small problems with them. Uh, it, it, I think it's it's definitely a lot better than a T7 overall. Uh, because I've got the extra range, uh, 180 degree turning angles, that, and uh, and it's got a few more range finders than the previous one as well, so it can, it's harder to lose track. But uh, it's not quite finished yet, so I still I still got some minor issues with it, and I still need to package it better as well. It's not very well packaged, um, but yeah, here's a little preview anyway of what I've done so far. Because um, I know it's been a while since I uploaded anything, so it's just some progress. So we have uh, uh, these settings here, uh, by default it's 90 degrees, so we'll just look left and right, uh, but it won't go further than 90 degrees. You can just press a button and you can flip it forward, um, and you can set it to manual fire. So when it's in manual fire, it will just shoot with your ship and just act like normal cannons. Uh, this is in case you're in an asteroid field and you can't really use the autonomous turrets very well because they shoot at anything pretty much. Uh, you can just switch it to manual, it will face forward and it will shoot with your main ship. That's just normal guns. And uh, we can just flip it back with another press of a button, flip it forward and backwards. And uh, it won't shoot if manual isn't turned on. If manual's not turned on, then it's not going to do anything. Um, and so, yeah, we can switch it back to auto mode. And when it's in auto mode, it will just do its thing, own thing, it will scan, look for targets, uh, depending on which direction it's facing. So right now I flipped it forward, so now it's just scanning forward with the ship. So if you're flying forward and you're trying to fight somebody, uh, your turret will do its own thing if it's in auto mode. And you can just press a button, flip it backwards, and now it's facing behind you and scanning what's behind you. And it will just do its own thing. And it won't shoot any targets that are too close, because uh, I set it so it does it ignores ignores everything that's 30 meters or less. So um, as long as your ship isn't huge and really long, then you shouldn't have any issues with shooting your own ship. So let's just take it out for a little test run. And I'll just take my ship out. So it's not perfect, but uh, if you're within its range, if you're within its firing angle, then it's very difficult to escape. It's, it's almost impossible to escape, even at full speed here. So I'm travelling at full speed, um, that my fighter can go. And even though I, you're not really going to get hit, if you're moving full speed, left and right, you're under constant pressure, and if you slow down, even for a few seconds, then it's going to hit you. Because the turret is set to overturn. It's not set to overturn too much, but a fair amount so that if you stand still or, or fly too slow, it'll hit you. So the idea is it's just to put pressure on anyone that's chasing you. If you just want to make a getaway and you're in a mining ship uh, and you can fit one or two of these turrets on maybe and just fly away. But as you can see, as soon as you go above one kilometer away, it starts to lose track and the turret no longer sees you, which at that point it usually despawns anyway. And if you fly s straight over it while it's tracking you, uh, there's a chance that it'll be able to flip 180 degrees and still track you, even though you flew straight over it. But if I fly around like this, then it's lost track. So it's not perfect, it sometimes loses track uh, if you fly around the ship too much, so it's best not to um, be stationary and have fighters going around you because they'll most likely lose track. Uh, we also have the uh, same friendly fire system as before with the T7 so the ally just needs uh, a tracking system, uh, a laser designator with the same password as the uh, turrets password 
uh, and I'll do a more detailed uh, video on this once the turret is finished and I've, I'm probably going to make a setup guide because it is a little bit tricky to understand but basically if you can change the ID of the turret at any time uh, using the control panel there and uh, you can set it to a custom ID or random ID and as long as uh, the friendly has that laser tracker with the same ID then the turret will just avoid it and it will show green lights and it won't shoot. Um, but this hasn't been tested in public, keep in mind, so there's a chance that if you do this with other players it might just not work and just shoot it. Um, I have heard some people say that it does work at uh, laser tracking communication but only at close range with other players. So it's still untested, so I'll have to wait and see about that one. But as soon as I randomise the password, I change the password, now it sees it as an enemy. It doesn't have the same ID. So if someone gets a hold of your password, you just press one button, randomise, uh, and then the turret will not see it as a friendly anymore. So yeah, here's the ship that uh, I tried to rush together in time for the rumble event, but I couldn't make it in time. Uh, and the reason why I had to start a brand new ship uh, for these turrets because when I converted the turrets to rangefinders they used uh, a lot more cables and pipes than uh, the previous version with the laser designators uh, and as a result there was no chance I was going to fit this these turrets onto any of my existing ships and I had to make a new one that was specifically designed to fit them uh, that conserves cables uh, very well it is possible to put two of these on a ship, but you have to conserve your cables really well because each turret uses literally um, just over 4,000 cables uh, capacity, so it's a bit ridiculous. I'm going to see if I can cut that down in the future when I finish the turret because otherwise there's not much chance of people being able to install two of these on their ships. Um, but yeah, this is how it's supposed to work. Yeah, you can have two on a big ship and they can flip forward, flip back. Uh, work as auto defense or work manually in manual mode and just shoot with your ship from either side and hopefully I can make a warship that can do all the things I want it to do and test it in PvP because right now none of these turrets have been tested just turning these two turrets on kind of slows my frame rate and I'm a bit worried that with all the YOLO and everything that it might not work on PvP with other people very well. I have no idea so I really need to test them out sometime. So hopefully I'll finish the ship and finish the turret and sometime soon we can actually see some action, uh, not just designing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.